All right, Shalom, call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rachahak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and, all, and as always, peace and salutation to the elect. I wanted to show you, brothers and few sisters, this video. Uh, as y'all see, I just loaded a video dealing with how Esau is about to lose his mind and he's on the edge and he doesn't know what to do. And uh, one of the other elders, all right, just alerted me to this video where you have two Edomite thugs, complete failures and losers, all right, uh, in a failed kingdom, uh, driving around. And what do they say they're doing? Look at the title, GMS Coon Hunting. And I'm going to let you brothers and few sisters listen to this video to let you know that everything we've been saying is happening and it's true, man. Okay? And like that movie, uh, The First Purge, that uh, brothers and whoever believes in this truth should watch that movie because ultimately that's what's going to be happening to you Israelites, man. Okay? And the only ones that are going to be protected, although you're going to have some martyrs, are the elect. Okay? These people are about to lose their damn mind. They ain't going to just give up their kingdom, all right, like that. Okay, they're hurt, man. Esau's hurt. He's smitten with madness. Okay, he's a, th I mean, and these two thugs, these bushwhackers in the reincarnation, all right, are riding around <laughs> talking about they hunting co GMS coons, man. And they're talking about us, the men of the Lord. They're hurt. Okay? And we've been telling you. And these low level, all right, Edomites are going to be after Jake. Okay, you got, you got, you got the, the, the everyday toothless, sardine and cracker eating edomite with that with that gatling gun that that barrel waiting on your ass okay because when all hell breaks loose these edomites are coming after jake when there's no rules no holes barred esau is not he ain't playing and you got jake's loading up videos all right with guns which you shouldn't let your left hand uh know what your right hand is doing but at the end of the day <laughs> we're gonna see all right, if, if you're going to be able to hang with Esau with the sword, man. All right. Esau Edom is about to go completely nuts, man. You're going to have these militia groups that are openly against you. You're going to have these everyday Edomites who you see all right, at Walmart and, and they, they look you up and down and, you know, t tired of you. They've, they've, they're mad. They're frustrated. These Edomites are about to lose it, man. Then you got the police. OK. Then you got these different. Uh, uh, um different uh, uh 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 you got like russian troops over here you got moabite troops over here all right and they go all kill your ass man just watch that movie the first purge man so you go you jakes are gonna have to worry from every level man but this word is ultimately getting to these edomites man Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the news unit broadcasting live. This is also the Bitcoin Bible Church, the Life and Bible Church, Crypto Bible Church, Crypto Bible Baptist Church, Bitcoin Bible Baptist Church, whatever you want to call it. Call it any church you want. This is the church in Christ. And I'm just telling you what we're doing today a little bit. This is information, of course, is uh, on YouTube. And it's uh, presented here not necessarily that of myself or anyone else like Billy. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only, right? Yep. We can neither confirm nor deny the accuracy of any of it. That shit go fucking cool. We're going, where are we going, Billy? Go coon hunting. Coon hunting, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get you some coon. Fuck him up. We're going GMS coon hunt. They didn't think we were coming, but the Lord has sent us. The Lord spoke to me and said, Thou shalt go speak in the name of the word of God to the GMS Israelites and shall cut them asunder with the sword of the spirit, the word of God. Hurt. These Edomites are hurt. <laughs> this word is hurt. Them. <laughs> yep. Look at them. Ladies and gentlemen. So bear with us. And Billy, of course, you love coon hunting, don't you? Yeah, I was. You used to trap them too, didn't you? Yeah. So Billy, I, I... And you Jake's talking about these ain't the Edomites. You, you, you need your... Man, oh my goodness, man. These are the Edomites, man. All right? 
You don't see the Arabs doing all of this shit. These are the Edomites. You niggas can run as far as you want from the truth, but eventually you're going to be faced with reality, man. And reality is right here. The prophecies are hitting, man. Just like, all right, Haman got mad that Mordecai didn't bow. And, and, and what did he do? Let's get that scripture real quick. Esther chapter three. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I start at one. After these things did King Ahasuerus promote Haman, which is an Edomite, the son of Amathadath, all right, uh, the Agagite, going back to Agag, all right, Edomites. Remember Samuel slayed him. Saul was supposed to do it, but he spared him. You got those same Jakes back today that are trying to spare Esau. But ultimately, the job is going to get done after they served their hardcore captivity in the kingdom of heaven. It advanced him and set his seat above all the princes that were with him. And the king and all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced Haman for the king that so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai bowed not, nor did he reverence him, nor did uh, him reverence. OK, and when you jump down to verse five and when Haman, the Edomite, saw that Mordecai bowed not. Nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath and thought. Scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for he had showed him the people of Mordecai, wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. And Purim is coming up because this all turned on you Edomites heads. But Esau is ultimately angry that we're not bowing to his ass anymore. See, these two Edomites grew up and they were taught. And they've seen some like 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 uh, uh, Billy, I believe his name, that guy to the right. He he knows he's seen Jake lynched and he's been a part of it. The both of them seen it. They love that. So they getting back into that spirit. They 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 hit it for long enough. Now the the cats out of the bag. They're the Edomites. They they ain't playing no more, man. Got the best coon hunter. Yep. In the county. Yep. You don't mess with this guy. Nope. Well, the M16, that fucking bull the hell out. <laughs> and ultimately, they, they, they're just a bunch of clowns. But Esau's hurt. He's hurt. All right? Hurt. There's another point. You can watch the video. It's just Esau being Esau. But why is this... These, these Edomites are ugly. They threw, bro. Oh, my goodness. Don't fuck with me, Look bastard. right in there. Look right in there and tell them. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Don't fuck with Billy, man. Look at my face. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I wouldn't fuck with you. Put the head back on. You look tougher. Yeah, like that. Don't fuck with me. There you go. Now you got it, man. I put the glasses on. Don't fuck with me. There you go. Yep. See what I'm talking about? It's a hurt. Nah, you know the truth of the matter is we're all hot here, eh, Billy? We're all bullshitters. We don't need anything. We're just whippy little fucking snowflakes. You don't have to rest little snowflakes. Don't know nothing about anything. Hurt. That's what you are. But ultimately, ultimately, all right, there, there's there's bigger Edomites in higher positions that are fit to come after us, man. All right, Revelation 12 and 17, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And that testimony, okay, and that testimony... Revelation 11, Revelation 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. All right. And the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. So ultimately, these words are killing Esau, man. You see, he he conquered the world with the sword. We're conquering the world through the word. And they don't know how to react. 
So now they're going back to that thug. Because they're the real thugs, man. Nobody's a bigger thug than Esau Edom, man. Isaiah 34 <laughs> and 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, upon the people of my curse to judgment. So you people, are you're cursed. You're going to be judged. You're fallen. And ultimately, all right, uh, we have a higher power that's going to protect us, man. So come with it, because when you come with it, as the scriptures say, the Lord is going to come with it, man. And you Jakes are afraid of Esau, man. We have nothing to be afraid of, brothers. St gird up your loins, man. This is a this is a part of the whole movie. All right. Hey, our power is going to come through for us. We've been doing the right thing, putting the word out there. All right. Uh, uh, being brothers, charity edifying we doing what we supposed to do man we just got to continue to do it and the lord as he's done in past times is going to defend us but this time the defense is going to be on a whole nother level and we ain't ever going down again after this boy so you edomites just need to prepare for slavery man eat go ahead and eat the rest of the because these are two bumpkin low level dirt ball stinking musty ass edomites man they ain't got nothing going on but ultimately there's the, the elites are watching these videos man Revelation 20 and 9, and they went upon the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the saints are the Israelites, okay? Matter of fact, I start at 7, and when a thousand years were expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, all right? And he's been loosed out of his prison. That happened around the, the time of the Renaissance, and since then, he's been lying committing sacrilege, destroying all of the, the, the true images of the Israelites. He's just lied. And now everything's being uncovered. Okay. And after he was loose from prison, what did he do? And went out to deceive the nations, which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog to gather them together to the battle. The number is whom is as the sand of the sea. So the world war three is being prepared. They've lied and, and destroyed so much. Now we're, we're reaching the time of their judgment. OK, that's why it says Gog and Magog, because ultimately that's Russia, man. And, 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 and Russia is leading the pack to come against Babylon, the great man. And ultimately, all of you Edomites are going to be destroyed, man, because 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 Gog and Magog are Edomites, too. The Lord said, I'm against you, but he's going to use. All right. Uh, 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 Esau, other Edomites to, to, to help destroy his whole system. So he's going to he's a kingdom divided, man, basically. You Edomites are divided, you threw, nothing you can do. But you're going to use that last bit, a li little bit of that sword, man. And you're going to come after the men of the Lord, all right? <laughs> and guess what's going to happen? And, when they, and then they went up the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about the beloved city, all right? Which when you read Isaiah 52, that city is speaking of the elect, Put on our beautiful gar garments, a uh, 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 holy city. The holy city is the elect. Is a city, an actual city, go put on a garment? No. And fire came down from the most high out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire. Destruction. The destruction from the, the fire from the chariots and the fire from the war that's going to be going on on the earth, man. Where the beast and the false prophet are. And shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So you Edomites, man, are through. All right. Don't know much about biology. Don't know much about history. I like to be back, but what can I do? Oh boy. He got the he got he got the bu -bu 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 bad shades on. Don't don't mess with Esau when he get those shades on. Here, you know I'm off. I gotta drive for a while. And you and you and you know this guy right here is a complete loser. His wife's cheating on him. His children curse him out. Two-time loser, man. You eat a mites of finish. Shalom.